Hello, how are we all? I hope we're all doing fabulous. Do you want to be beautiful on a budget? Do you want to feel put together, fabulous on a budget? If you do, this video is for you. This is a high maintenance, low maintenance video. This has been a trend on social media for a hot minute high maintenance in order to be low maintenance. I don't really know grammatically how to say that sentence, but you guys know what I mean. And if you don't, what it basically means is spending a little bit more time on your beauty treatments at home, doing things yourself, kind of cutting corners where you can in order to just wake up every morning, feel super put together, feel super fabulous. Also, if you don't feel like you need any of these treatments, you don't like you really don't everyone is beautiful everyone is fabulous but sometimes it's nice to pamper yourself sometimes it is and yeah if you do this video is also for you so first thing i always 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 do in my high maintenance to low maintenance beauty routine is nails this is the sassy saints orchid obsession dip powder i'm obsessed i went over my mum's about a month ago and she did my nails for the first time with the sassy saints dip powder kit life changer utter utter game changer like i can't even tell you guys how much i'm obsessed with these and this is my real nails they don't damage your nails as well either um i know some acrylics sometimes do but these are completely non-damaging to your nails these are my real nails these are my real nails guys i can't and they last for like three four weeks they're super 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 durable you can use them if you've got kind of short nails if you're doing it sort of for the first time and you've got shorter nails you can put nail extensions on there i think there's stuff on their website on how to attach nail extensions and do it over the top of the nail extensions but yeah they're incredible. I think they're super similar to Builder in a Bottle. And I think the prices range from 40 to 70 quid. And if you think, if you're someone who gets your nails done, like acrylics or biab every kind of three weeks or so, you're paying like 40 to 50 quid every time you get your nails done. And these kits last like, for so 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 long and if you think if you even just get two sets of full nails out of these you're already making your money back if that makes sense. i say making your money back you're already saving money <laughs> you're not making money back you're saving money but especially right now with everything going on in the world like to be able to save more money super super important so yeah always have my nails done and i said earlier like if you even get two um treatments out of this you will get more than two treatments out of this i've had these done three times now and i think when my mum bought the kit was like 45 quid and you get three colors in there three colors it literally lasts forever they're so gorgeous they're so easy as well watch out for my holiday prep video coming super super soon on my channel and I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to do it. I thought this video is gonna be really, really long, so I'm not gonna show you in this video, but watch out for that video, because I will show you in there. But yeah, Sassy Saints Dip Powder Kits, get yourself on that. I think Glamour Drip do them as well, so have a little look. I think there's different colors in each one, so have a look. I believe they both work as well as the Sassy Saints one does, but honestly, nails make you feel so put together if you can't afford to get the dip kit though just normal nail polish you know you've got the gel stuff you've got you can get cheap acrylic kits if you really did want to do acrylics you also can yeah just use normal nail polish there are some great normal nail polishes on the market at the moment that last quite long as well and don't kind of chip so do your shopping around because your nails like having your nails done will always make you feel so put together next thing i love to do which i've only just started to do and it was my first time doing it yesterday but i already know this is going to be a staple in my high to low maintenance beauty routine it's a lash lift and tint this is the luxe lash lift kit again if i remember i'll link it below 
I'm so sorry if I forget, but it is literally just Lux Lash Lift. And I think you get, I, I got a free tint with mine. So love that. Thank you very much for that. One thing I will say as well, actually, I ordered the black tint and it came and when I mixed it up, it looked brown, but I can promise you it's black. If anyone else has that issue and they're mixing it and they're like, this looks like they've sent me brown. I promise you it's not brown, it's black. Like you can see on my lashes. But the next few clips is me showing you guys how easy it is to do the lash lift kit. I am so heavy handed. I'm like, my hands are so shaky. I thought it was gonna be an utter, like I thought it was gonna be carnage. I thought it was gonna be utter carnage, but it's so easy. Okay, so we're just about to try out the Lux Lash Lift Kit. I am so nervous, but I've basically got everything set out. I haven't yet decided which one I wanna do. I think I'm gonna do this one. I think, what's this called? Um, Glamour Curls, just as like the first time. I think I'm gonna do that one. Then I've set everything out in the right order so that I know what I'm doing. Um, and here are all the applicators. I am so nervous, like so nervous to do this, but we're gonna do this together and I'm gonna show you guys whether it's easy or not easy. So you're meant to start by basically removing everything from your lashes and like around that area, just making sure it's okay. I don't have anything on or around my lashes, but I am just gonna use a cotton wool pad with some micellar water on it, just to be on the complete safe side. Okay, so I did go for the M ones, not the M ones, the M's. Um, what did it say? Glamour curl, fancy. So I think the idea is that you basically peel this off. Okay, so they're eventually stuck on after goodness knows how long. So now it's time to glue the lashes to the pads. So I think it's just put like the smallest bit of glue. Oh, it's working. <gasps> what? Okay, some of them are sticking, some of them aren't, but like, <gasps> what? <gasps> oh my God, this is like magic. This is incredible. They're a tad wonky in parts. Like, can you see? It's kind of a little bit wonky, but it's fine. Let me just sort these out. Okay, they are done. Now, I apply the perm lotion to the midsection of the lashes. I don't really know what that means, but I'm not very steady with my hand either, which is not great when you've got something that close to your eyeball. Just gonna completely cover the midsection of the lashes. I'm just gonna use all of this because, <gasps> oh, fudge. Ah, no, I just dropped it on the carpet. It's fine, it's literally fine. I don't know what I was crying about. Okay, I think that's it. There's like one little bit I can't get to. There we go. Covered. Mm. As I say, I might as well just use all of it. Unless it said apply a thin layer, then hee <laughs> hee, I'm not doing that. Whoopsie. Okay, so I've just removed the perming lotion with a cotton wool pad. Now, time for the fixing lotion. Oh, it's blue. Ooh. Okay, sure. Ooh, this is cute. This blue colour. So this one says to put cling film on my eyes. So 
that's what I've done. I have removed the fixing lotion. I've just put the tint on and now it's a little bit confusing to be honest because this, the lash lift thing, says to leave the tint on for three minutes, then remove it. But the actual lash tint set says to leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, we are now finished with the dye and I think it's safe to say they have gone black. Um, thankfully, so I think I just have to like remove the majority of the dye. Really hard to see what I'm doing. <gasps> I think it's worked. Guys, I think it's worked. Stop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, how do I peel this off? From the inside. <gasps> I think it's worked. Stop it. They look so good. Oh. No, I'm obsessed. This is my new favorite thing. Look at them. Can we just take a second to appreciate the lashes? Yeah, I'm obsessed. Okay. This is amazing. Guys, guys, I'm not being funny. I'm not being funny. Like, look at them. Like, on a absolute real one, look at them. I think I smashed that. I think I absolutely smashed that. So I've just finished off with the lash serum, like the Nourish It lash serum. And yeah, safe to say I'm obsessed. I think this eye went a lot better than this eye, but this was the first eye I started on. But even this eye, is not awful like guys Lux cosmetics have got me in a choke cold because this is this is dangerous like this is really dangerous I'm gonna be spending all of my money on their store sorry not sorry next thing I do is laser hair removal so I do it under my arms and on my legs. You get these fancy glasses that go over there. I think this is Vemi, Vimi. I got this in a Black Friday deal. When I was in Prime, you can pick up so many. I think this was 79.99, but this was a few years ago to be fair. And I swear by laser hair removal. Like I really swear by laser hair removal. You've got to be super, super careful though. She's looking a little bit crusty. I might need to get a new one. It's been used. It's been well used. Okay. But yeah, one thing you need to be aware of is don't get this too close to your leg or wherever it is, wherever it is that your laser hair removing because I learned that the hard way and massively burnt myself. So yeah, don't do that. But love a laser hair removal. Now, after that, I will do fake tan as contour. The next few clips is me showing you how I put it on. And this, as I say, is what it looks like afterwards. It just gives you a gorgeous glow, like a gorgeous, I just am obsessed. I saw it on TikTok and was like, well, <laughs> guess that's gonna be me all year round now, literally just using fake tan as contour. Cause I find that when I put like tan drops on my face, my face is in a different color to my neck and I don't like putting it on my neck because then it transfers onto clothes because I literally cannot find any sort of fake tan, any sort of face tan that is transfer proof. Like it doesn't exist. I feel like it doesn't exist. But yeah, this fake tan contour really, 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 really does just work for me. I don't know whether you guys feel the same, but I always feel so much more comfortable in my own skin and confident when I'm tanned. I don't really like doing body tan because I hate transfer. If there was any fake tan that was completely transfer proof, best believe I'm wearing that all year round, but I haven't yet found a fake tan that is 
completely transfer proof if you guys have please let me know in the comments because i need that in my life but for now we're having a look at the face tan so i always start by moisturizing my skin i know that it says a lot of the time don't moisturize your skin when you're doing fake tan but i always find that with my facial skin i need to moisturize it first but yeah for the face tan contour i use the bondi sans aero it is my favorite this is my holy grail fake tan i will use this on my body if ever i actually need to but yeah i use it all the time on my face and then basically just a little brush like this nice and easy and you don't need a lot like you really don't need a lot when i say that don't go overboard guys because your face will be a completely different color to your body and you do not want that so literally i squeeze the smallest bit like this and then just dab round the corners like this then kind of join it on the top and then i do bring it round and make my cheekbones look higher making sure i get it right into the hairline and then i do put some on my nose because whenever you catch the sun you catch it on your nose as well because i guess it sticks out more than your other facial features and really you don't need to be too specific as to where you put this because it won't ever be this dark i always leave it on for an hour wash it off and then by the morning it is looking gorgeous and sun-kissed think that's it really to be honest some people do put it on their eyebrows to make their eyebrows a little bit darker and on their lips but i'm not about that not my vibe it is for other people but i always just end up doing this and then going and doing stuff and eating and i don't really want to taste fake tan in my mouth when i'm eating so i don't do it on the lips i do however do other stuff for my lips which i'll talk about in just a second but yeah literally for me just on the nose in the contour areas and bob's your uncle it has been an hour and it's now time to wash off the face tan so i literally just use normal face wash and then go around the edges with some cellar water i have just washed most of it off but as you can see it does stick to some areas so that's where i'll go in with my micellar water and literally just take those tiny little bits off so super super gently I kind of just run this round and you can see some of it comes off and you might think isn't that just going to take all of it off i promise you it doesn't so i'll always recommend just going through and rubbing off the bits where it's kind of stuck to different places in your skin um hence the reason as well as i said earlier why i put moisturizer on first because i know that so much more would get stuck if i didn't put moisturizer on but yeah, some of it got on my chin as so I was washing it off. So I'm just sorting that out too. Next step, hair care. This has been my secret weapon for longer hair for the last few months. I've always had long hair. I'm not going to lie. I always have. I'm super lucky. My hair grows quite quickly, but I'm not lucky in the fact that it always breaks. It always falls out. It always looks like... It just doesn't look okay like it's just not a vibe you know like it's long it's cute and from afar she's gorgeous but from up close not so much and you look at the top you can't see it now because i've just had my shower but you look at the top and i've got sort of like tiny baby hairs that kind of cover this whole section and then obviously here i've got my baby hairs as well so this has been my secret weapon over the past few months so it's shield hair bonds boost shine it is the l'oreal bond repair leave-in serum i did try the bond repair like set i'm not gonna lie i didn't i didn't get on with it the best it was okay but like i prefer dream lengths um but this has stayed from that four step routine this has 100 percent stayed because it is the best so i literally just pump so for my hair length i literally just pump two three four warm it up in my hands then kind of go from about here and just gently drag it down like 
this in my hair and then just go in between like that done and then for these little bits in here i do two pumps just really gently warm that up and lift up here and basically just smooth that in there and then with the leftover tiny little bits gently i'll just kind of pat 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 over here and then just take that through like that i mean of course nothing works for everyone but this really does work for me so i do recommend if you've got longer hair prone to breakage give this a go i'm not a scientist so i don't know if this actually works i feel like i've seen a difference but yeah i don't know if this actually works but for me it does feel as though it works so as you saw there the next step in my routine is the hair care so as I said, I use L'Oreal Dream Lengths Wonder Water Shampoo and Conditioner and it is just so hydrating, so silky, so soft, so smooth on your hair. And then to kind of sort out, here we go. This is what I was explaining earlier, like these little bits up the top. I think I had some sort of scalp condition a few months ago and it was just not. It was just not it. It was just horrible. And yeah, so the L'Oreal Leave-In Bond Repair Serum, that like brand new expensive serum, is what I use to kind of help the hair grow, especially these baby hairs here. And one more thing I do in my hair care routine, if I, if I feel like it. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do. If I'm going out somewhere and want like a bouncy blowout look, one of these which i'm sure you have seen literally everywhere it's one of those things that curl your hair now <laughs> uh, when, I, when i first tried to do this it was an absolute fail like it was not tight enough and i woke up the next morning and was like was that meant to work like um but i eventually got the hang of it and as you saw if you have seen my airport vlog video from last year i slept with it in the day before going to the airport last year and finally managed to master how to do this so yeah that's another thing to give yourself a super bouncy blowout and you can literally wake up and not even do anything like wake up and bye guys see you later oh, i'm leaving you know, don't have to wake up early to do your hair, curl your hair. And I'm pretty sure it's so much less damaging on your hair than like heated styling products are. Next up then, lips. So I get my lips tattooed. I don't know what it's called. I think it's like semi-permanent lip blush I get. But I don't know whether you guys can see. You probably can't see, but basically like around the edges and like towards the middle. I get my lips tattooed. I've always, like my natural lips are super, super pale. Like really, really, really pale. To the point where sometimes they, I feel like they just blend in with the natural color of my skin. It's always been like a huge, huge insecurity of mine. And initially I was like, I'm just gonna get lip filler. Like I'm gonna get lip filler. That is what it is. And then I, I used to work with the lady who does my lips and I say oh like we worked in the same building and she was like before you get filler why don't you let me like tattoo your lips like and see how you feel see if it's great because she said you've got naturally quite full lips anyway um why don't you just give it a go and see and I gave it a go and I love it I'm obsessed. I've not had them done in so long though, so I know I need to get them redone soon. And when I do, I'll take you guys along with that process. It is, I'm not gonna lie, if you've got a low pain threshold, it is so painful, but so worth it. If you like, there are so many sort of pain receptors on your lips, so yeah it is a lot like it is a lot so if you're kind of too nervous to do that and get your lips tattooed there are a few other things you can do so first thing is a lip stain i use these ones sometimes i literally just use this brush which is why it's in here because otherwise i know it will get lost first few times i did it 
I did it wrong um, and ended up literally making myself bleed. There's a video of that on my TikTok as well if you want to laugh at my misfortune. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a lot. It was a lot. Um, eventually worked out how to use it. So we're all good though. Next thing you could use is this. So this is the Max Factor Lipfinity Last In Tint. It's like a felt tip basically. And I use this, especially when I go on holiday, like during the daytime, I use this as like a lip liner because it stays for like hours and hours and hours. And then I will put the fat lip oil over the top. Yes, I was sucked into the fat lip oil trend, but I will never look back because they smell like utterly stunning and they look gorgeous. So I use That's Chic and Newsfeed. Again, there is a video on my TikTok of me trying those colors on. If you wanted to check it out, same as my YouTube, Lauren Live 1111. So go and check that out on there. Next up, sticking with the theme of like your mouth, <laughs> teeth care. Teeth care is so unbelievably important. Like I cannot stress that enough. To make you feel super fabulous, super fresh, teeth care is very important. And I take mine very seriously. So first things first, a water flosser. This one is the... Peckham. Peckham one, again, Amazon, $19.99, I want to say. Utter bargain, but yeah, love a water floss. And it's just really fun as well. Like, the water flosses are just so fun. Next thing is an electric cleaner. I think this is probably from, like, Timu or Sheen. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, some toothpaste and I use an electric toothbrush as well one of the oral b ones I just find that electric ones work so much better than sort of like manually brushing my teeth I can't stress how important it is to use a tongue scraper like I you hygienic girlies will know clean girl aesthetic every clean girl uses a tongue scraper I can promise you that for certain. And then the last thing in my teeth care routine is these, the Wisdom Active Whitening Teeth Whitening Strips. Now, I don't do the ones where you have to put the like, what are they called? Like the denture type things in, like squeeze the gel and put those in because sometimes they're not enamel safe. And whenever you are whitening your teeth, please, 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 make sure that you are using enamel safe stuff. Now, these jumped out at me straight away because they are enamel safe and peroxide free. So they are not bleaching in your teeth. They literally just remove surface stains. So yeah, I got these in B&M. If you saw my last video, you would have seen I picked these up in B&M, but yeah. And they're minty flavor as well. So they leave you feeling super fresh. Nearly there. Now onto the skincare though, before this video is finished. I know I did a little bit of like skin kind of stuff earlier on with the fake tan contour and laser hair removal, but there are a few little extra things I do in my skincare routine. First one, I haven't actually started trying yet but watch out again for my holiday prep video because I will show you results in that. And it is the dark spot uh, routine, the new L'Oreal dark spot routine. I ordered it 29 quid on TikTok shop because literally anything anyone buys is from TikTok shop now. But yeah, 29 pounds. I got the serum, the snake peel, and the SPF 50, which best believe is going straight in my suitcase, like straight in my suitcase. But yeah, actually let's carry on with the kind of holiday sun theme before we move into facial skincare. This is my holy grail. If you watched any of my beauty videos last year, you will know 
that this is literally my holy grail. Like I will not ever go without it. It makes your tan last so long. It makes it so bronze. It is not, like it's got no fake tan in it. So the tan you get with this will be your natural tan. It's literally just an accelerator and it doesn't have SPF in it. So if you're using this, make sure you're using a very high SPF, 50, I always use with this. But when I tell you I have never had a nicer tan in my life, I have genuinely never had a nicer tan in my life. So that's the first thing. Then you have some people are a little bit like oh, about doing this at home but I do this at home I did all of my research before doing this so I'm doing it completely safely and again the lady that does my lips did my first lot of derma rolling um and she basically taught me how to do it safely at home so I do derma roll I use 0.5 i think on my face and i do derma roll my stretch marks as well stretch marks are beautiful first things first um but mine are just so deep that i just want to kind of fade them a little bit and make them a little bit less deep make my skin feel a little bit healthier so i use the oh 1.5 I think on my stretch marks and, and it won't ever get rid of them. And I don't want to get rid of my stretch marks because I think they're beautiful. But yeah, I do just want to fade them a little bit. So I do derma roll. And then after that, bio oil. Super, super, super important to be applying any sort of oil if you do derma roll in. If you do derma roll at home, please make sure you speak to a professional first. Please make sure you get advice. Please make sure you research. Please make sure you thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly clean your derma rollers and this is not me saying to derma roll like I don't recommend doing it at home hypocrite I know but I don't recommend doing it at home um I only do it at home because I've had the proper training I guess to be able to do it at home so yeah super super important that you're being safe when you're doing this same with laser hair removal actually same with all of these beauty treatments just be safe when you're doing them, please guys. Very, very important. Next thing I do in my skincare routine is a gua sha. So I've got a jade roller and then like a gua sha to kind of do this sort of area. And then I love a glow serum. So I think the dark spot reveal stuff is meant to make your skin super glow. I don't know why I keep doing this instead of this today in this video i apologize but yeah let me show you this is this is like three pound from primark last year let me just show you a little bit it just i feel like gives a tiny little glow but it's so gorgeous i always put it like in the spots where your skin would naturally glow so I have, naturally, I'm super lucky, I have very shiny skin on my legs and a little bit on my arms, um, but not on my face. And I feel like if my face never matches my legs and my arms in regards to the colour it is, unless I'm on holiday, in regards to the colour or it is, or in, the, in regards to the colour it is, or the shine. So look how pretty that is it's so natural it's so subtle but it's just so gorgeous and the last thing i do in my high maintenance to low maintenance beauty routine is just look after the brows brows are super important i don't dye my brows or get them laminated or anything because i just don't think it would suit me i say i don't get my brows dyed i will be getting them dyed for holiday this year because if you watch my holiday vlog last year you will know that when I go on holiday, my brows go blonde. Um, so I'm literally gonna get them like to set up my brow lady. I was like, this might be a really weird request, but can you like match a dye to my natural eyebrow color when I come in so that when I go in the sun, they're like my natural color and they don't fade. And she was like, yeah, of course we can do that. So yeah, I am getting my brows done for holiday. Again, watch out for the holiday prep vlog because it will be in there but yeah all i really do is just pluck my brows i get them threaded like every so often 
and then I'll just kind of maintain them myself at home, like where they've threaded, like the shape of where they've threaded. I will just kind of maintain them myself by just plucking them at home. You can wax them, you can dye them, laminate them, yeah, literally anything. And again, I think Lux Cosmetics, I think, is it Lux Cosmetics? Lux, the people that I got my lash lift kit with, also do brow dyes and brow lamination kits as well. I think Sassy Saints also do brow lamb uh, kits as well. So if you did like laminating your brow, or if you did like laminated brows, you can get a kit for so, so, so much cheaper. And if it's as easy as this lash lift kit, you guys will be like loving your lives, I promise. But yeah, that is, that's it. That's it for today's video. I hope this gave you some sort of inspiration in order to be high maintenance to low maintenance. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed, share, like, comment anything you guys do as well in your high maintenance to low maintenance routine because I'm always looking for new suggestions in order to feel fabulous. But yeah, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.